The Rums of Barbados Master Mixer is brought to you by Barbados Industrial Development Corporation, the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, the Caribbean Cooking Channel.com, Clayton's Cola Tonic and Doolin's Fruit Juice, Carrot Poss, Island Ice, the best ice, Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Liat Airlines, the Indoorwear Travel Center, and Barbados Today.bb. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Rums of Barbados Master Mixer. This week, we have our very first female competitor today. Her name is Gina Dupal, and she's representing Blakey's. Not to be sexist, but I myself am a female bartender at Bubba's, and so I'm on her side. We also have Thaddeus Seeley from the Coral Reef Club competing against her. Who do you think will win this round? Hi, I'm Jean Paul and I work at Blakey's on the Boardwalk. I have been a bartender basically professionally six to seven months. Before I was a bartender, I was a customer service rep for seven years at a bank. Hi, my name is Daria Seely. I'm a chef actually and I work at a Corby's Club. I've been making cocktails now for the last like 10 years. Uh, this all started from school days, having fun with the guys and realizing, you know what, this is something I can really get into. We're going to take a short commercial break and be right back. Stay tuned. The cocktails in this segment are brought to you by the Rums of Barbados, produced by Mount Gay, St. Nicholas Abbey, Foursquare Rum Factory, and West Indies Rum Distilleries Limited. Each contestant will have a total of five minutes to complete their cocktails. Our tenders will be judged and awarded five points for name and originality, 20 points for visual appeal and presentation, 15 points for taste, 15 points for balance of ingredients, 15 points for creativity, 10 points for skill and technique, 15 points for use of Caribbean flavors, and five points for ease of preparation. Each judge will submit their score and then the average of the total points will be awarded to each bartender. Let the battle, battle begin. Battle, battle, begin. Battle, begin. Um, I'm here at the competition and I'm freaking out. But I guess the show must go on, although my voice is kind of going, but everything's going to be great. I do, okay. Um, right now I'm putting in two scoops of vanilla ice cream. <clears throat> I'm gonna do two to four ounces of raspberry puree. And an uh, ounce of simple syrup. This is for the first part of the cocktail. And just give that a little blend. Oh, 
the phone. Okay, I'm gonna do two ounces of spice rum. And an ounce of premium. these and here we go. Alright, All right, this is for the chocolate part of the cocktail. You get the same amount of ice cream too. Two scoops, get that in there. This time I'm going to put the rum so I won't forget. Um, two ounces of spice, one ounce of premium. One ounce of creme de cacao. Two ounces of chocolate syrup. Alright, a little messy here, but then you blend it. This is what it is. And you kind of try to get both of them. But the chocolate doesn't seem to want to work today. Kind of continue on that. Garnish with raspberries stuffed with Hershey's Kisses, my favorite. And this is my cocktail called Funny Valentine. Great job, Gina. Let's just say girls rule. Now, let's take a look at Thaddeus Seeley. Uh, the name of my first cocktail is something from the kitchen. As I just said before, I am a chef. So basically, the inspiration came from one of my dishes at work. One of the basic comp components was pineapple and vanilla, which was basically a pineapple and vanilla compo. What I did was just actually break it down add some other ingredients, which were basically coriander, lime, syrup, and coconut water. First of all, this drink is called Something from the Kitchen. This is actually a play exactly on both worlds. I am actually a chef by profession. This is going to consist of fresh pineapple, coriander, I don't mind you. Also, you're going to have some fresh lime, here. The funny part about this drink is 
if you look at it from my perspective from the bar or the kitchen and also some simple syrup it is part of salsa part how should I explain it part salsa yeah part salsa part from the pastry shop and also part from the bar these ingredients here are actually the basis for a salsa minus the onions and the peppers so basically as you can see here we have the coriander lime and pineapple here muddled already good god we're gonna have here now some vanilla infused white rum it's actually fresh vanilla like that Ice No. See all the ingredients here? Rum. The reason they use vanilla, vanilla is from the pastry shop. So that's basically fusing. And also, the next ingredient coming here as well. Is going to be coconut water, pineapple and coconut. That is known for pina coladas or the Malibu flavor, as you want to call it. We're going to shake this. Put that right there. Put a little coriander leaves in here. just for giving that nice little look. Let me stir it out when I'm finished. How much time we got there, sir? Thank you. I'm gonna strain this into our glass. I want to say, top this with a little coconut water. Thank you, sir. A little coconut water there. Give this a little stir. Now this is the fun part where I know I actually get part of the kitchen here. I'm going to take some fresh vanilla and skewer it on some pineapple and this is going to play the full right now like I don't know why take this here now torch it thank you Jamal a little sugar thank you Actually, that's finished. Very good job, Thaddeus. This week will definitely be a hard one. We're gonna take a short break and we're gonna be right back. It's more than just money. Join the credit union group. It's more than just money. Home development with the Crip Club. You're young and you need to save money. With the Crip Club, savings have value and sustainability. So listen, children, yeah. show some. The main benefit is obviously that we've taken the essence of the kola nut 
and put it in a liquid form inside a bottle. The cola nut gives you energy and stamina. I think the main benefit uh, from drinking Clayton's is that you've got the choice as to whether you make it into an alcoholic product or not. So um, on its own, it's a, it's a very satisfying full body drink. You can mix it with soft drinks, you can mix it with alcohol, but that's your choice. Uh, it's also got a lot of natural qualities to it and it feels like you're actually having what we call a real drink. These non-alcoholic cocktails are brought to you by Clayton's Cola Tonic. My non-alcoholic drink now is probably my favorite drink of all. Um, it was a pomegranate raspberry fizz. Um, I chose to use local pomegranates, which pretty much took me forever to juice because they did it. I muddled it by hand. Um, it was fresh raspberries, fresh pomegranate juice, um, cola tonic, of course, and I topped it off with cake cola tonic. I thought that made it awesome. Okay, this, my second drink is, is pretty much a pomegranate raspberry fizz. Um, it's a muddled drink. It's going to be like a half cup of raspberry, fresh raspberries. This is pretty much like a cup here. You're going to get two ounces of pomegranate juice. It's fresh pomegranate, local pomegranate to be sized. Not. Right. You can get ounce and a half of simple syrup. The greatest part of the drink, Clayton's Cola Tonic. And then that's gonna be an ounce, half ounce. And then this is some more juice. I'm just gonna give that a nice muddle. And some ice. And give it a nice shake. And next step. And just top it up. you top with Kit Clayton's Cola Tonic. Get a nice fizzy. Usually you would Garnish with a raspberry and some mint leaves, but unfortunately, I use all of them, so I'm just gonna put some mint in there. I still think that looks pretty nice. The name of my non-alcoholic cocktail is Summer Breeze. It's basically a play on a lot of our summer products, uh, fruits we find in Barbados. A lot of unripened fruits to be exact, that would be our golden apple, five fingers, and our gooseberries. Also it has in the fresh homemade ginger syrup, and actually fresh passion fruit juice, finished with a little bit of lime and cola tonic. 
This one here is called the Summer Breeze. The reason of the name of this is because basically a lot of green summer fruits we look at in Barbados. Gooseberries, five fingers, golden apples, also a little lime, and also it's gonna have some ginger. If it could. Huh? What I have here is now some ginger infused syrup. It's basically fresh ginger, water, and sugar. That's basically, I'm going to rim my glass here with a little salt and cayenne pepper because usually when you have these type of green fruits, you normally have a little salt with them. So I'm just going to put a little kick with it as well with just some cayenne pepper. Just a bit on the glass. Not too much. Oh. No. Just going to muddle it. Wrong place. We're going to muddle this. Our plates. What we have here is some fresh passion fruit juice, homemade, as you can see with the seeds. Add a bit here. Here now, let's give it a little shape. What I realized there as well too, I did not put in my lime. I totally forgot that. So what I'm going to do again. And just give a little shape. Because of that little simple mistake I just did there. And after that, I'm just going to strain. Add a little ice. And that's it. Summer breeze. And finish. I say let's plan our vacation and suddenly everyone's on liat.com my wife announces she'll liat.com a nice hotel near restaurants and shopping malls hmm must hide credit card the kids want to liat.com fun activities and since someone has to be the sensible one I'll liat.com flights our travel insurance and a car well sort of sensible <laughs> liat.com what else do you need? Are you having a party or having a fet? There's an important name you shouldn't forget. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Ice. Island ice. A tropical paradise needs ice too. That's why we will take care of you. Private functions, events and more. Family picnics or chilling at home. It's Island Ice. Island Ice. Island Call 418-9706 and we'll be sure to deliver it. Island Ice, the best ice. Rum fact number eight. White or silver rums are generally light-bodied, clear, and have a very subtle flavor profile. They are filtered multiple times to remove any impurities and are not aged very long. White rums are the rums most used in cocktails as they blend particularly well with fruit flavors. Gina Dupal scores 114.8 points. Fadia Seeley scores a total of 137.4 points. Fadia moves on to the semifinals and Gina Dupal is eliminated. That's it for this week, but stay tuned for more action next week. <laughs>